This is part two of the small tutorial covering collection view basics. We have an app like this that has a bunch of boxes that are a fixed size, 70 by 70. If we want to make this a third of the screen, we have to, in addition to saying that this is a collection view delegate and a collection view data source, something that is quite new is that we have to say that it's a UI collection view delegate flow layout. Then we implement the function collection view layout collection view layout. What this wants is to return a CG size. Let's see, return CG size. That is basically a width and a height. If I were to say here, I want it to be a third of the screen. So let's say width. I want this to be view. That is the uh, view controller's view. It's bounds width divided by three. And I want the height to be the same thing. So let's just copy this and say, the height is that. Let's see what happens now. Now you see, it didn't happen what we wanted because now we said these are a third of the screen. What we haven't done is looked at the collection view looked here and says minimum spacing for cell for lines like this that is spacing between uh, rows and columns if we remove this and run again now we get like this now they're all red so it's a little bit difficult to see but third 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 and like this and this doesn't depend in any way on which screen size we use let's do like this let's set this label I want it to be all the way out like this covering the whole the whole cell and I want it centered so that it gets really in the center of the cell. We did like this. We said create a cell set as a our collection view cell, our code, set the text to hello. Just to implement this with a simple array. I'm gonna do like this, create a variable called uh, people. And let's say that is an array of strings and in view did load I'm gonna do like this and say people append let's say John and then copy this let's do some names and let's say John James Bill, Anna, and let's say Elsa and Sven, like this, six names, which gives an even amount, so I just want to do one more, seven names, like this, seven names, and let's run this. We still say hello. If we want this array to be in these cells, we have to do like this, say return, not 13, but people count. And let's not say that it should say hello. It should say people number index path dot 
row. Sorry, dot row, which is the current item we're at, just like in a table view. Let's see, now we got John, James, Bill, Anna, Elsa, Sven, and Olaf. That's basically how you set up a collection view. If we want this to be another dimension, we can easily change that here. If we want to add more items to this, to this item, we can easily do a, a connection with even more outlets. Stay tuned for more tutorials on um, iOS development. Thank you, and please subscribe.